amazing panel today. Uh, we're going to be discussing some things. I've been very concerned ever since I have uh, discovered my Hebraic roots. Actually, a little ticked off because these things were never taught in the church and they are very clear. You can see them very clearly in the scriptures, in the Tanakh, in the Torah. <clears throat> and, and so we have been taught that the law uh, is done away with. And so these five brothers today, Rabbi Yosef Israel uh, from uh, the great state of Pennsylvania, from Dr. Elijah Bryant, uh, from South Jersey, uh, Bishop Charles Mitchell from South Jersey, Elder Michael Shefton, North <laughs> Jersey, and the late, uh, the, the great apostle, uh, Aubrey Gre Gregory from our own city here in Newark. I am the host, Apostle Gloria Harris. I know some of you probably don't believe in women apostles, but here again, you need to look in the scriptures and you will find what that means. We're going to start off. Uh, can I see, can you brothers give me an amen? All my amen. 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 The Torah, uh, and we know what the Torah is. The Torah is the first five books of Moses, the tribute that Moses wrote, and uh, the law that was presented to our ancestors at Mount Sinai. But also there is the Tanakh. And it includes the Torah and uh, the prophets and writings. It is a compilation of all the Hebrew writings. So we're going to start off. The thing that we're going to be discussing is the law. Uh, what do you all say? Uh, is the Torah law dead today? If it is, what part of it is dead? Is all of it dead? It is in your hands, panel, to discuss. Yeah. My answer to that is uh, no, the, the Torah law is not dead. Absolutely. Um, according to the scripts, uh, the word Torah in the Hebrew simply means, uh, in Hifil, it's Hifil, it means to guide, to teach, for instruction, to guide, to teach, for instruction. Uh, uh, we, we see an example of in uh, Genesis chapter one, better chef, chapter one, verse one. In the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and the earth that was established in order. And then we see uh, a chaos happen in verse two. Uh, Wabahu to who? Wabahu to who is the Hebrew word and the earth was, was without form and void, was, was without instruction. It, uh, as a result, violence, wickedness, death. Um, and, and we understand that what happened was that that's where the fall of Hiliel or Hashitan came and disrupt humanity. That's where war broke out, counting one third of the angels, the Malachs. And, and, and as a result, he brought disorder and chaos. So when Yahweh began to speak, it was a word of restoration. And the Torah begins, number one, for restoration. So again, the word Torah means to guide, to teach, and instruction. Torah is our guide and teach and instruction. So the Torah is our life. It is not done away with. Absolutely. As I said, um, you know, in today's uh, traditions, the church has uh, systematically um, become non-existent when it comes to following Torah. Yes. And that's quite unfortunate. Uh, the Torah is as relevant as it was several thousand years ago, as it is today. Matter of fact, the scripture bears in mind in Matthew 5 and 17, it says this, think not that I am come to destroy the law yeah. or the prophets. Come on, y'all. Yes. And I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Now, we can just have a, uh, uh, a round of applause and church out on that. Uh -huh. There shouldn't be any controversy when it says that I did not come to destroy the law, but I came to fulfill it. And then 
uh, Yeshua says in Matthew 5 and 18, he continues to say, for verily I say unto you, till heaven yes. mm -hmm. and earth pass away, mm -hmm. not one jot or tittle one shall yes. no rise pass from the law. The law. Listen, from the law till all be fulfilled. It didn't say some. It didn't say a portion. It didn't say a fraction. It said all. And what we have done is we have uh, made the word of God of non-effect by our traditions, by what has been said, what has been handed down, instead of reading the word uh, 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 page by page, uh, law by law, to understand exactly what God entailed for us to do. So is the, um, is the law relevant today? Is God law relevant today? Of course it is. Yes, yes. it is. Um, and there is also, uh, in my mind, there is not only a spiritual implication, but there's practical uh, application also to uh, these laws. And as we discuss this, you know, uh, I'll, I'll speak about this further, but there was reasons why Leviticus 18, uh, 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 Leviticus, Leviticus 11, why he told us that there were uh, certain animals that you can and cannot eat. Yes, there's a practical yes, yes. reason why he told us that. Okay. And then there's a reason why he said in Leviticus 23 that to keep uh, these, uh, uh, these feasts. There's a reason why he said. And then when he told us in uh, um, in Genesis to keep the Sabbath, he there was a reasons why he told us to do these things. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Uh, before you said, Elder Mike, uh, yes. <clears throat> right there, panel. Can someone get Luke twenty four and forty four and read it? Because somebody uh, is saying it was fulfilled when Christ was nailed to the cross. Mm. Can can you make that clearer? Luke 24 and 44, one of the panelists. Twenty-four. You can read 43, 44, and 40, 23, I mean, 43 and 44, okay. if you'd like. Okay. Um, he took it and did eat before them and said unto them, these words, which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things might be fulfilled, which are written in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Verse 45, then. Because it, okay. it, it, it explains to us, when he say fulfilled, he meant the prophets and the law. They spoke of him and yes. his coming. That's what the fulfillment is. All right, next one, whoever was speaking. Well, if I may piggyback off of what my brother was saying, and um, I believe that uh, Elder Mike brought out a essential point of how the mindsets of people have shifted when it comes to the written word of God. It says here in Joshua 1 and 8 that, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. In other words, he wanted it to be a lifestyle that thou may observe and do all that is written therein. And interestingly enough, uh, the way they systematically dismantle God's word, I noticed if you have to go to court for any reason, they'll have you place your hand on God's holy writ in order to determine the veracity of whatever statements that you're making legally. But society has a problem when you place the principles in your heart and apply them to your life. And we have to see the jacanery of the enemy who is the devil that is at work that's causing you to believe or wants you to believe that the word itself is none effect or um, it was a principle for a darkened age or a time that has passed. Uh, the scripture clearly teaches us also 
in Deuteronomy, which is interestingly enough, one of my favorites, uh, verse numbers um, two, chapter six, that thou may fear the Lord thy God. That word fear comes from a Hebrew word, yare, which means a thing to be reverence or a thing to be had with respect that certain things need to be handled with a certain dignity. I know, once again, I have to make the court references because that's pretty much the system that they use to kidnap the Hebrews off the streets. But yeah. um, I notice when you go into the courtroom, there's a certain dignity that you have to have when talking to the judge. And God forbid, should you hurt his feelings or offend your sensibility, he'll find you in contempt and see, the thing is, it's like we have to be careful when it comes to God's word that we don't find ourselves in contempt of Yah because of our lack of respect. He went a little further to say that to keep all of his statutes and his commandments, which I've commanded thee, listen, and thy son and thy son's sons all the days of thy lives that thy lives might be prolonged. In other words, he wanted us to basically establish this law, this word, this Torah as a lifestyle. He wanted us to behave as if it was a slogan. We put on t-shirts to carry messages that we don't even understand. And that's a place in our minds or in our lifestyles or in our behavior that's supposed to be occupied by Yah. All Amen. the things that we see and all the things that we want to assimilate, those of us that are inundated with television watching or social media, Yah wanted us to be in, inundated with his kingdom mindset. This is why he said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Yeshua the Christ. In other words, he wanted to reboot our thinking so it will actually work in harmony with his writ. And with his lifestyle and with his word, that's why we have, a, we have a slogan here. We have a saying here at the Celebration Church that you think kingdom thoughts, talk kingdom talk, and walk kingdom walk. Amen. Amen. Uh, our other brothers said. haven't yeah. speak, spoken Thank yet. You. With which I, I do agree. But I would like to make a comment that addresses and go directly to persons and individuals who may or may not know and most likely may not know that they are victims. Ooh. And I want that to sink in. Let's go back for a moment to the beginning. It says in Genesis, in the beginning God. It doesn't offer an argument doesn't offer any logic. It just makes a statement of fact. And it's up to us what we do with that. Now, he is, as described throughout the scriptures, beginning in Genesis, the creator. Which gives him lawful rights. Lawful rights. We're not talking about law and grace here. We didn't even get there yet. The creator has lawful rights. The rights begin with the idea that because he is creator, he's to be worshipped, him and him alone. Now what has happened, <laughs> Satan has introduced doubt about that. And so we all became victims as a result. It's that simple. You know, we can get theological about it and all that. Listen, it's so simple and God intended that it would be that simple that it cannot be missed. You don't have to go to theological school and I've been there, done that. You don't have to go there to get it's very simple. It's so simple that the idea that there is no law existing today is trifling. It really is. So I like to keep it simple. So he deserves to be worshipped. Now 
Jesus Christ. I know him as Yeshua. But we're going to be gracious. Jesus Christ is repeatedly de depicted as king in the biblical record. I think every person who is submitted to some form of Christianity would have to agree with that, that the biblical record testifies that he is depicted as king in the record. Now, listen, please. Clearly that concept sets forth the idea that he exercises authority to which men are expected to comply. Yes. He's king. He has rule. He reigns. We're to submit. We're to obey. There are tons of scriptures that testify to that. So, what kind of king is he that there's no law? Well, we just experienced four years, ending just a few months ago, where there were people that were in power that did not understand that there's law to be kept. And you and I had to live in it. Is that what you want? Wow. That's I good. don't think so. That's good, sir. I don't think so. So the kingdom of God is not going to be without law. Now I understand that we've been victimized by the enemy. The scripture tells us that Satan has blinded the hearts of men. Now, now how many know when you're blind you don't see? <laughs> you just don't. It doesn't mean the facts are not there. It means you just don't see it. So we've been doing religion, and Satan doesn't mind us doing religion. Mm. <laughs> we were regular and intense and active about it. It's law, because if there's no law, then there's no sin. <laughs> Ask Paul. No law, then there's no sin. Uh, how many know that Christians commit sin. I just want to leave that there. Because see, law is designated as an expression of the divine will and a rule of conduct. So what we have now on planet Earth you have billions of wills outside of the divine will. That's why we're having this conversation today, because there are wills within the construct of religion and practice and traditions that are other than the divine will. Amen. Amen. That is awesome. awesome. That's like, what you should. Yeah, yeah, but we have to let uh, to uh, Bishop in on this before we uh, on, uh, uh, before we move on. Go ahead, Bishop. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, Bishop, and then we'll come back to you, Missioner. Bishop uh, Mitchell. Okay. Yes, I I, I definitely agree. Um, we understand the fact that Hey Sh Hey Shatan said his whole thing was about to also. To remove, to remove um, uh, with God's with God's word and what He said again, the law again to to abstract God in it. His whole deviousness about even the shifting of the word, and and like in Genesis chapter three, when He was having the conversation uh, with Eve, and He was talking about, um, and I just want to read it, and He said, um, and. And he said, verse four, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. But he also said in, back in verse three, he says, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Mm -hmm. Jehovah did not say, lest ye die. He said that the day you do, you will surely. 
See, and that's and that's where the deviance is. And I think that's also what is happening right now, even in the church. Hey, Satan has has deviated the absolute. Because see, when again, just as as, uh, as uh, Dr. Gregory said, that when a king speaks, it's absolute. It's unrefutable. You cannot question when the king has spoken. So, so what what the what Satan has done is to just to just a slight deviation, one degree off of truth. Come on. Once once one degree of truth is is offset, then it, it changes the total. It changes the total meaning, total nomenclature, total purpose, and and that's why. He doesn't mind us. Oh, yeah. He wants us to, to, to just deviate just a little bit because people don't even realize that if you move one degree off course, you're totally offset. People think it's major. It is the subtlety of being offset. And when we do not follow Torah, that's why we, 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 we just try to justify for the reason of us not following it. It's just that slightness. That's why our worship is not on the day of Sabbath, because it's just that one degree of turn. That's why we have the other celebration of holidays, which are not holy days, but holidays, because it's that it is the again, the turning of one degree. Yes. So that's why I says we have that's why we must follow Torah. We must follow what Yah have said, because the king has spoken and the king has spoken absolutely. And if we are going to be part of his kingdom, if we are going to be under his domain, his protection, his guidance, his instructions, and his full covering, we must adhere to and follow his law, Torah. Brother Amen. Mishnah, uh, Elder Mishnah, you said you wanted, and then after this, I do believe there are some questions that are coming in, uh, and we want to be able to deal with that. Go ahead. Okay. Um, excellent. Thank you. I just want to dovetail with uh, um, Dr. Gregory. Well, uh, Dr. Gregory, I uh, just mm -hmm. said, um, and, and I'm, I, I, I do apologize for stirring the hornet's nest, but I, I just want to say that uh, we have, um, a statement was made about the, the, the past administration. And I, I would, would prefer that if we, I was going to say, I really want to steer away from that. I want us to steer away from talking about the political entities and let's stick with this. So go ahead, uh, Elder Mishnah. But if you can, please, let's stay away from that. Okay. All right. Um, I just wanted to talk about the lawlessness that I, that we. Go ahead. Lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about okay. that. Um, but it has something to do with what we're with what's happening now, what's on the platform. Am I allowed to speak about that or well just talk about lawlessness. We want to stay away from political because we, yeah, we, we don't want to get bogged down in that. Okay. All right. Um I just want to say that you know we we have um um our our leaders now are people who are dressed in drag. So mm. that that is lawless. Uh that is that goes against Torah. Um, we have a person that believes he, he's a man, believing he's a woman. Come on, uh, man. So we, we're going to move on from that because, I, like I said, I don't want to stir up a, a hornet's nest. But I do want to address right. the, the, the statement that was made by uh, the individual about uh, Luke 24 and 44 that, see, he, the, the, the misunderstanding that we sometimes have is we, there's a difference between covenant and, and the law, the covenant is agreement. Mm -hmm. And that is the aspect that, uh, uh, that, that Yah augmented that prior to that, um, we did, uh, according to the Mosaic law, anim animals were was used as sacrifices for mm -hmm. our sins. And in Hebrew, uh, Hebrews, the ninth chapter, uh, it says, uh, 11th verse says this, but Christ being come and high priest of good yes. things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building, uh, neither by the blood of goats and calves and by his own blood. He entered 
in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. So this was a covenantal change. It had um, it had nothing to do with the law. It was a new covenant for the people of God, for his uh, the apple of his eye. And it says um, that uh, uh, 13, for if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sect, uh, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. So it was only through Yah, it, it, that uh, through, through Yahshua, that our, um, he, he, he brought it up to another level. He brought it up to a perfect level by living a perfect life. He says, how much more uh, shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, mm -hmm. purge your conscience yes. from dead works to serving the living God. Yes. Praise yes. the name of Yeshua. So yes. it was his sacrifice that brought the level up to God's acknowledgement to say, you know what? I can, God said, I can deal with this, fellas. Okay. I'm going to yes. let you guys uh, 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 live a little longer because we have, it is true, Yeshua, that Yah saw that his creation was perfect and it was just us that just messed up. Okay. <laughs> so, and, 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 and then we also have to understand that Yeshua kept the Sabbath. Yeshua, Yeshua yes, he did. Uh, and then, uh, if 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 the, my man who who wrote in uh, had had an issue with uh, the death of, of of our Savior, saying that okay, well it was it was nailed to the cross. Well, evidently it wasn't because in Acts eighty five times in the Book of Acts, these uh, 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 the um, the uh, disciples kept the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And they taught other people to observe likewise. So that's my statement. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, Amen. Elder Cynthia, Elder Shefton, our uh, social media uh, uh, director, there are questions that are flooding in. Uh, can you give us, uh, start us off with uh, what are some of the statements or questions so that these uh, brethren can uh, uh, tackle them? All right. This is coming from Facebook. Then why does the church celebrate Christmas Christmas? And Easter or Sunday worship, go. Okay, go for it. Please, Rabbi, you first, sir. Because oh. of deception, the eyes of man, or rather the heart of man, has been blinded. That's what Satan does. He is the expert deceptor. He doesn't mind religious activity and religion as we understand it has no shortage of activity. A week like this is activity up and down. And that somehow comes across as righteousness. Deception. Dr. Gregory, could you give, because I know you know, uh, and we know that, but to someone that just wrote it, could you get some notes and votes, uh, something that how uh, these holidays might have come about, uh, give them some information? I know all of you know, but since you're talking, could you start it off or do you want to start it off? About how the holidays came about? How these pagan holidays started off, because I think that's what people want to know. Well, let's let 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 me explode the situation. At the Tower of Babel. Now go in Genesis and read that. What happened there? Yes. And when you study it, what you discover is that at that point in time, the Most High decided he was fed up with man and his ways. And you can read his comments. He says, whatever they set their heart to do, they'll be able to accomplish. Let's yes. go down and see. Yes. Who are the let? Who who are let us go down and see? Well, these are other Elohim. Okay, somebody's about to faint. No, we understand. These are other 
Elohim. All the, the word Elohim means these are beings that live <laughs> in the unseen realm. Mm -hmm. These are other beings. And so in Psalm 82, Yahweh himself addressed them. He says, you are gods and you'll die like men. He was rebuking them. And so he set each of the 70 nations. Go to Genesis chapter 10 and see the 70 nations coming out of Ham's children. I'm sorry, Noah's children, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And he set each of them under one of these gods. He gave them up. He says, that's what you want to serve? Go ahead. And then he says, I'm going to reserve a nation to myself, which ultimately, as the story progresses, the narrative it became Israel. Amen. Beautiful. Yeah. Can somebody take it from there? Uh, give yeah, us some more information. Go ahead, Bishop. Man. Go ahead, Bishop. Uh, is it Bishop? Who is it? Bishop or Rabbi? Which one of you all? I don't know who was next. That was Dr. Bryant. Go, oh, Dr. Bryant. Go ahead, Doc. <laughs> Well, we get a lot, or should I say, all of our religiosity. Let's be very clear that the idea of religion has absolutely nothing to do with God. The word comes from a Greek word, religios, which simply means man's quest or search for God. Even Yeshua himself preached against religion. And there was an event that occurred in the year 325 AD called the Council of Nicaea, mm -hmm. where the universal church is what we know as the C Catholic church today. They wanted to be like Jesus, but at the same time, many of them didn't know anything about Hebrew. They didn't know any Aramaic. They didn't know what the Dead Sea Scrolls was. So what they did was they created what is called a facsimile of what they thought to be God. And through that, you see a lot of your pagan holidays that have absolutely nothing to do with Torah. This is where you get a lot of your holidays from. This is where you find people that are quote unquote church people and not necessarily people of God celebrating holidays that have no uh, cultural significance spiritually with what we should really be plugged into. But at the same time, most of these religious individuals will shun the very character of Hebrew culture when it comes to how we should live, how we should adorn ourselves, what we should eat, what should be our mannerism, and even what should be our mindset. See, it is important to understand. And I tell you, Bishop Mitchell, he brought out something exceptional when he was talking about the mindset and, 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 and how people flowed and functioned then as to how they should now. The Bible is very clear when it says that man was indeed created in the image and likeness of God. But the only problem with that is when we ingested the knowledge, knowledge that was not of God, but the mm -hmm. knowledge of the tree of uh, good and evil, people say because Adam lived to be 920 years, he did not die the same age. But I beg to differ if he was originally in the image and likeness of Yah. Because he was so life orientated, it took death 920 years to slow walk him down because there was no concept as time. He was in the image and likeness of God. And because God gave birth to him, he had to give birth to eternity. And God had to also, God had to give birth to time just to keep us alive. Amen. I don't know who was next. It was a rabbi or was yeah, it? The, it was okay. rabbi. Go ahead, rabbi. Um, the doctor um, eloquently spoke going back to Babylon. Um, mm -hmm. Babylon is the all is the uh, weirdest lawlessness religious system. Um, Nimrod, um, who is the founder of Babylon, Babylon from the Hebrew Babel, confusion. Mm -hmm. um, is Easter comes from the word Ishtar. Uh, Ishtar was the goddess of, of fertility. Uh, and there was a lawlessness of, of the practice of it uh, where they would take the young virgins, cut their eggs out um, and sacrificing them on the altar. 
uh, and then dyeing their eggs in red. It was actually a pagan blood sacrifice. Because Christianity preaches a perverse grace, saying grace done away with the law, that we're under grace, that we can do anything, say anything, eat anything, just bless it in Jesus' name. Uh, we got a perverse name, a mm. perverse religion, and a perverse practice. And so now, uh, 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 now it's no longer about uh, the Ishtar. We got the Easter egg hunting in churches. We, 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 mm -hmm. we, we bring Christmas trees, which mm. is just a penis uh, of a, a, a saurus, and, and, and we bring that in the, the, the uh, churches. And then yet, all this lawlessness, and on top of it, you know, the lie that was taught as being taught that Yeshua got up first day, well, we know he got up on Shabbat, but that's another subject. The lies, the lawlessness, the confusion, it all starts from lawlessness. So lawlessness breeds into these pagan traditions that their roots are go straight back to Babylon. And so therefore, you are in a Babylonian church system that, that have egregiously painted over paganism and you put uh scriptures and 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 and, and monuments attributed uh, to the old testament and it's paganism and no wonder the dead is being raised no wonder the sick is not being healed no wonder the ruach don't get me started y'all <laughs>